Hey there, science fans. Welcome to another exciting journey into the world of technology. Batteries are everywhere in our modern world. They power the devices we rely on daily. From our smartphones and laptops to our electric cars and even some of our favorite toys, these little powerhouses keep our lives running smoothly and efficiently. But have you ever stopped to think about what actually goes on inside those cylindrical cases? What kind of magic happens to store and release energy? What makes a battery tick and what's the difference between the kind you can recharge and the kind you just toss in the recycling bin? It's more fascinating than you might think. Understanding the difference between rechargeable and non-rechargeable batteries can help you make smarter choices about the technology you use and minimize your environmental impact. Rechargeable batteries can be used multiple times, saving you money and reducing waste. So let's break it down and explore the fascinating world of batteries. From their chemistry to their applications, there's so much to uncover. Stay tuned as we dive deep into the science that powers our everyday lives. Rechargeable batteries, also known as secondary batteries, are designed for long-term use. Think of them like a water bottle you can refill over and over again. Instead of throwing them away after a single use, you can recharge them with electricity, bringing them back to life for many more cycles. This magic trick is possible because of the reversible chemical reactions happening inside. When you use a rechargeable battery, a chemical process releases energy to power your device. Then when you recharge it, you're essentially reversing that process, storing energy back inside the battery for later use. Pretty neat, right? Non-rechargeable batteries, also called primary batteries, are designed for single use. Once they are depleted, they cannot be used again. Picture them like a delicious candy bar. Once you eat it, it's gone. You can't put the wrapper back together and expect to have another candy bar. These batteries contain a finite amount of chemicals that react to produce electricity. The chemicals inside are carefully balanced to provide a steady flow of power. As these chemicals get used up, the battery's voltage gradually decreases until it's completely drained. You might notice your device getting weaker before it finally stops working. Trying to recharge a non-rechargeable battery is not only ineffective, but can also be dangerous. The battery is not built to handle the recharging process. The chemical reactions are not designed to be reversed, and attempting to do so can lead to overheating, leakage, or even explosions. This can damage your devices and pose a safety risk. So, stick to recharging those rechargeable batteries and dispose of the non-rechargeable ones properly. Always follow local guidelines for battery disposal to protect the environment. Section 4. Choosing the right battery horses for courses. Both rechargeable and non-rechargeable batteries have their own strengths and weaknesses, making them suitable for different applications. Rechargeable batteries, with their ability to be recharged hundreds or even thousands of times, are perfect for devices we use frequently, like smartphones, laptops, and cameras. On the other hand, non-rechargeable batteries are more cost-effective for devices used less often or require a constant stable voltage, like smoke detectors, remote controls, and watches. They also tend to have a longer shelf life, meaning they can sit unused for longer periods without losing their charge. Section 5 Batteries and Our Planet, The Green Choice When it comes to the environment, rechargeable batteries are the clear winner. They offer a sustainable alternative to single-use batteries which are often discarded after just one use. By reusing the same battery multiple times, you significantly reduce the number of batteries ending up in landfills, which is a major environmental concern. This is crucial because batteries contain heavy metals and other toxic materials that can leach into the environment and contaminate soil and water, posing serious health risks to both humans and wildlife. While rechargeable batteries require energy for charging, this energy can often come from renewable sources, further reducing their environmental footprint. The overall environmental impact is still lower compared to constantly manufacturing and disposing of single-use batteries, which consume more resources and generate more waste. So, by choosing rechargeable options whenever possible, you are making a conscious decision to support sustainability. You're not just saving money but also contributing to a healthier planet. Every small action counts, and together, we can make a big difference. Section 6. The final word, recharge and reuse. So, there you have it, the ins and outs of rechargeable and non-rechargeable batteries. 
Remember, rechargeable batteries are like refillable water bottles, while non-rechargeable ones are like those tasty candy bars. Enjoy them once, then say goodbye. By understanding their differences and making informed choices, you can power your life more sustainably and keep those gadgets running without unnecessarily burdening our planet. Now go forth and spread the battery knowledge.